William I, also known as William the Conqueror, was the first king of England from 1066 to 1087. He was a member of the Norman family from France and the grandson of Viking Rollo, who in the 10th century had conquered the region of Normandy in northern France. On the 14th of October, in 1066, William invaded England and defeated King Harold II in the Battle of Hastings, England. William's army consisted of well-armed and sharp-arrowed cavalry soldiers who had been well-trained and experienced in battles fought in open fields. Meanwhile, King Harold's army consisted of infantry and cavalry soldiers with fewer and less trained weapons. The battle began in the morning with an attack by William's army, which initially struggled to penetrate King Harold's defense line consisting of shields and spears. However, William's army managed to defeat King Harold's army after leading continuous attacks and taking advantage of the weaknesses of King Harold's separated army. The battle lasted all day, and King Harold's army suffered many casualties. King Harold himself was killed in battle after being shot in the eye by an arrow. William's army eventually succeeded in winning, and William was crowned King of England on Christmas Day in 1066. The Battle of Hastings is considered a significant moment in English history because it marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule in England and the beginning of Norman rule. During his reign, William implemented various reforms to consolidate his power in England. He introduced the feudal system, in which the nobles pledged loyalty to the king and were allowed to govern their own territories under the king's supervision. William also introduced the Doomsday Book, a list of properties and land ownership throughout England. William's rule was marked by conflict and rebellion from English and Welsh nobles who felt oppressed by Norman rule. After his victory in the Battle of Hastings, William faced significant challenges in maintaining his power over England, especially from the nobles who felt that their power over their territories had been taken away by foreigners. William gave lands that were owned by English nobles to Norman nobles who remained loyal to him, which created dissatisfaction among the English nobles who felt that their power had been usurped by foreigners. William ordered the construction of fortresses throughout England to defend his power, which made English and Welsh nobles feel more oppressed by Norman rule. Several English and Welsh noble uprisings against Norman rule erupted during William's reign, including the uprising in Northern England in 1069 and the uprising in Wales in 1081. However, William succeeded in suppressing these rebellions and improving security in England. The conflict between English and Norman nobles continued for several generations, but eventually, English nobles began to absorb Norman culture and language and emerged as part of the elite ruling group in England. Nevertheless, the resistance and rebellion of English and Welsh nobles during the reign of William I continued to be an important part of English history.